Hello Sizers! In this video, you'll learn how to build a full-fledged application using CMS. First, we need to make sure that our layout is stretchable. Copy the layout from the Figma and paste it into the sizing editor. Delete the first page. Next, push the cards you'll be working with to the side. Go to the presets, select the CMS preset and go to the data. Then click on the create collection and connect the table. Let's start assembling our CMS. For this, you will need all the elements that are in this card and insert them into the internal frame of the created CMS. After you have inserted all the elements, you need to build a vertical auto layout for the inner frame and apply fill container for each object and if the bottom elements of the CMS are displayed incorrectly, just refresh the page and everything will fall into place. Go to the data panel, rename them and attach the headers. For your convenience, you can take all the headings from a pre-prepared layout from Figma. Create a new text column and insert the text in the same way. Create another text column and insert the text description taken from the Figma file. Or you can come up with your own text description. To apply the pictures, you'll also need to create columns and select images in the tape. And then go to this column and click on the upload button and choose the preferred pictures. Let's activate the columns to our CMS layout. Go into each item and apply these columns on the right side menu. After that, apply the left and right constraints to all elements so that the layout becomes easy to stretch. You can copy the pre-created detailed page and insert it into the CMS pages. Then, delete it as you'll no longer need it. Now, go to the CMS page and also activate all the columns in it, which is the name, main text and images. Let's check whether our page is working dynamically and correctly by simply switching it in the connected row section. Go to the Jiffy and select the preferred link. Then go to the usual frame, click the create preset, apply the Jiffy and insert the link. In order for the layout to switch, we need to apply actions. Go to the action for CMS, select the move to CMS page, click add action. In order for the elements to become dynamic, we press create preset and click on the presets suitable for the elements such as navbar and tabbar. In order for the tab bar to work properly, you need to go to the menu on the right, click on the select page, apply the first page and select the second page to switch between them. Go to the CMS page, select the element on the left and apply move to the previous page. Click on the player to see how our layout works and you can see that everything works perfectly. However, in order to make the layout even more detailed, create a tape URL in data and insert a YouTube link into it. Return to the CMS page, select the button, set the connect button and apply the column from the data. Click on play and see that your layout is transformed into a full-fledged application. Thanks for watching. We hope our video was useful to you.